board, it's Jang here with a look at the Playmobil City Action heavy duty flatbed trailer. Comes with the truck to pull it as well and also one figure to drive that truck. The cargo is something that I've actually shown you before, before I even had this set in fact. The cargo is one section of truss that goes with the, the large, the, the really large crane, the infrared remote controlled crane set that I previously reviewed. You can actually use this piece to extend the height of that crane. So you can make your, your crane taller. This is a, a very large flatbed area that just, just has so much space and they have these nice tie downs that have little bungee cords. So it really holds on there. And each of these is actually adjustable as well. So you can change the overall length of the thing. I like that. So you can adjust it to, to different sizes of cargo. The bed of this trailer, since the trailer is really the, the focus of the thing, is very long, it's very low, it's low boy style, but it's not very wide. It's just pretty much the standard width of normal Playmobil vehicles. So if I were to just take the, the truck, just for the sake of, of reference, so you can see the, the size, put that on there. You see it's just a little bit wider than that truck, which is just a normal width itself. Now the truck has a small little trailer hitch on the back of it. And it also has the regular fifth wheel uh, attachment, which is where the trailer is normally attached with this set. And the trailer itself also has back here a couple of ramps, which by default are kept nice and you know kept kept in place. It's it's just uh, kind of fastened right there with a couple of straps that just clip on. So you can easily take that off. Take this one, there we go. And then that gives you a nice little wrap to be able to drive whatever you're carrying down. And it comes all the way right down to the ground, perfect. Now, what other things can be carried with this? Well, obviously any normal size of vehicle, but you may be interested in, in carrying some more heavy equipment. So for the sake of comparison, here's a excavator, a large excavator. And you see that the width of this it's enough, but it's, you know, it, it does kind of hang over the edges a bit, which is realistic. That's how this would actually happen. This would be considered a wide load in real life. So I think that works out well. And you have plenty of length. So you can easily just carry that thing, you can set the bucket out here if you want to. See, that works out well. And with more reasonable sized heavy equipment, like, sorry about the screeching sound, but that's the plastic. Can bring this here and just set that down like that. See, the front loader fits on there just fine, and there's no overlap on either side. And to keep it from rolling out, just bring up the ramp and that just acts as a stop. They don't have any wheel chocks included in this set to, to stop the ends of things, but I think the, the ramps themselves do a good enough job of holding everything in place. The truck or tractor cab itself, I think, has a very nice realistic believable look to it has a good amount of detail I, I appreciate the the extra printing on there rather than just leaving it all completely plain you can pull these sides down so you can hook that up or you can just see the the uh, the fuel can you know the, the gas tank there or diesel tank you can actually hook up a nozzle to this if you bring it up to uh, a place that has a fueling you know, a fueling station or something or, or a gas can you can put in there. You can also take this off and just rotate that down. It shows you a little bit more detail under there that's really not necessary, but it's great to have it. I like the inserts that they've used on the wheels here, molded in silver that matches the wheels themselves. That looks really good. And you can get inside the cab also. You can actually get under the cab, first of all, to see the engine detail beneath there. Not a whole lot to see there, but Pretty nice. Again, nice to have that. A lot, a lot nicer than not. You know, it's another thing that really didn't need to be there to have a successful truck just to pull the the trailer along. But to actually get inside the cab, you just pull off the roof. There we go. And that has seating for two. You know, driver and passenger fits normally. There's a uh, I call it walkie-talkie. You know, radio handheld radio unit that you can use. And this is kind of a, a little sleeper area if you want to just have a, you know, an overnight stay at a truck stop. You've got enough room so you can actually place the figure there. And even though this one has the, the, the long bill hat on, there's still a little extra room. 
and here some still fit in there so lots of stuff going on with this truck it's much better it's a little bit sticky there. much better than i feel it 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 needed to be to be good so i am more than satisfied more than happy with how this turned out there's a closer look at the driver figure with printing for the pockets on the shirt and also on the trousers he's looking cool with his shades on and those are actually removable those are not molded into the plastic just want to show you the rest of what this looks like around here no additional print around the back you can take the i like that that hat i like that cap i like the color and that playmobile pm print on there is pretty nice it has fairly reddish it's like dark orange colored hair but the the uh, shades are just inserted in there so you can simply leave those off if you want to and just make them look more normal still put the hat back on if you want to but I think those those uh, sunglasses look extra cool so I'll just leave them on lastly the set includes this it's just a little container it actually has a removable top I think it's supposed to be a lunch pail for the guy but it has no food in it but uh, or maybe it's for uh, I don't know, tissues? Maybe he has a cold or something? I don't know, but uh, it's included, so I thought I'd show it. So there you go, that's my look at this set. I really like the tractor cab section. I like how it looks and how it functions and how detailed it is. The trailer, it's just a trailer, but it's a good trailer. It's very large and it works well and has a lot of things you can do with it. And I really appreciate the kind of uh, a bungee cord style tie down. So it's very useful. It's just rather long, so it needs, needs a lot of space. And it's nice that they included a little bit of cargo that looks like it would belong at a construction site and you can actually use it with another set if you have that. So there you go. Those are my thoughts. Please feel free to share your thoughts on the video by leaving your comments down below. Thanks for watching. Talk to you again soon.